Now, when we look at a nucleic acid such as DNA in particular, we know that DNA is a uh, double-stranded and that there's a complementary strand. And so, Chargaff's rules said that the number of, in a DNA strand, the number of pyrimidines equal to the number of purines. All right, and remember that our purines are going to be, for a DNA, that's going to be uh, T and C, and pyrimidines are going to be A and G. All right, we know this rule better by, uh, by saying that A complements the T, and G complements the C. All right. So we know that if we have a single strand uh, of, a, of a DNA um, polymer, then we can predict exactly what, this, what the complementary strand would be. So we would call this the template strand. And then we would have the complement strand would be C, G, T, A, T, G, A, C, C. So this is called complement strand. Okay. A note that the complementary strand is going to go in the opposite direction. So if the template strand reads from left to right, five prime to three prime, then the complementary strand is going to read in the opposite direction. All right. So this is why, so for DNA, okay, if you have a strand of DNA, typically if you're looking at the sequence, the only sequence you'll be given is the sequence of the template strand because it's inferred, you can infer the sequence of the complementary strand, again, by Chargaff's rules where you, uh, an A will pair with a T and a G will pair with a C.